In this video, we will learn how to make reordable list view. Long press the tile to reorder the list. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest video notification. I have created project to save your time. Here is nothing but two empty folders. It is the home page where we can view our reordable list view. Let me create new file in widgets folder by reordable list view. Inside the file, create stateful widget and call it from the home page. Firstly, I will create list view builder. List view builder have two required properties, the item builder and item count. Item builder is what you want to build and item count is how much time you want to display. Inside the item builder, I will return dummy text and I need that text five times. Okay, so now I will make list of string to store and display fruit's name. Let's change five with the length of list and replace text with cut and make it better look. To the child property, assign list style to have the title property. Okay, so it's looking good, but we can't reorder the tiles. Let's change the list view to re reordable list view. In reordable list view, we have one more required property, which is on reorder. We need two arguments, old index and new index, and this will reorder the list when we play. So I will wrap with set state property to refresh the UI. Here makes the current index equals to new index. Index and remove the old index from the fruit and insert into the fruit list. And you might be confused with the fruit variable, it's nothing but a single item to display in card widget. Okay, remove semicolon and run the project. So we have an error that every item of reordable list view must have a key. Let's add the key and run the project again. Long press the tile to reorder the list. And we have one more problem. When I move item from first to third, it places that item in fourth position. Let's make condition to resolve the issue. So now it's working fine. Let's add adding property to make it better. Whoa, it looks awesome. I added all these images in asset folder and inform the pubspec.yml file that I have images in this directory which I will use in my project. Now add the trailing property to delete the item you want. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get latest video notification.